Hi, I'm Kaylin Madison. And I'm Jordan Harper Chambers. And welcome to the Waterloo Student News West High Edition. A West High student is moonlighting as a rock star. Check out scenes from Zach Carlisle's latest gig in downtown Waterloo. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Larissa. And we're a little, little white lie. Because. As you can see, we're here at the Screaming Eagle right now, playing our show. We are a classic to current rock band out of Waterloo, Iowa. Loris over here plays bass guitar, guitar, keyboards and vocals. Over here to my right, Zach plays guitar and vocals as well. And I'm drummer and lead singer. We are frequently touring band in the state of Iowa and throughout the state. Zach is a perfect fit for us. He's fun. He's youthful and energetic, which is really good, um, but he's very mature for his age. I'm sure his teachers and fellow peers would realize that too. So, no, he's, he's been an awesome addition and we love having him. If you guys want to check out further shows, go to our website, lwlrock.com. You can check us out on Facebook, Little White Lie, on Twitter, Little White Lie. Uh, we'd love to be friends with everybody, so check out our music and come to a show and see what we're all about. Hi, I'm Rachel Flynn. And I'm Tasia Tucker. Students at Orange Elementary are learning more about STEM through a unique club. What does it stand for again? Let me tell you. Okay. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, of course. When I slide this back, <gasps> is the swivel starts to spin and it turns itself into a rope. Rope. That's cool. rope. That is way cool. Orange Elementary students have amazing opportunities to learn about STEM through hands-on activities in class and extracurricular programs. One of those programs is STEM Club. STEM Club 5 is for 5th grade students. They meet after school regularly. Chris Anderson from Hartman Reserve is their program coordinator. He engages the students through meaningful, hands-on activities. Their ongoing project involves finding ways to get practical technology to the mythical island nation of Iowania. Looks identical to Iowa in any except way except towns. it's in the middle of the ocean. Currently, the students are making a prototype rope maker from scavenged materials. Students will participate in the entire designing and building process. Through guidance and problem solving, they will manufacture a short length of rope. The drawbacks they experienced will later be applied to creating a fully functional rope maker. The ropes they create will be used in a variety of experiments from creating simple or complex machines to building a model suspension bridge. As you can see, students at Orange have a fantastic opportunity to learn and implement engineering skills while they are in elementary school. A World in Motion is another great STEM example happening in our district. Here are highlights from Lou Henry third graders in action. A World in Motion is a program that brings science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, to life in the classroom. Benchmarked to the national standards, a World in Motion program incorporates the laws of physics, motion, flight, and electronics into hands-on activities that reinforce classroom STEM curriculum. Our district's elementary ELP teachers led the charge on the implementation of this exciting STEM program. After extensive professional development, they chose the Rolling Things kit for our third grade classrooms. In the Rolling Things challenge, students explore how changing the ramp height and vehicle weight affect the momentum of toy cars. Truck, sedan, and convertible. You put it to different ramp height, it goes faster or slower. And it goes to different places. Because the first time I put the weight at the front, it just tipped over. And when I put it on the back, it goes farther. I tested it like this. I like how we can actually um, communicate with our partners figure out what um, momentum is and um, speed, ramp height. The Rolling Things A World in Motion program is a fantastic opportunity for every third grader in the Waterloo schools. It's one way we are piquing students' interest in STEM in our elementary buildings. Hi, I'm Ja'Kayla Madison. And I'm Jordan Harper Chambers. With a long winter of late starts and cancellations, we want to remind you to sign up for text alerts if you have children in the Waterloo schools. 
Hi, I'm Matt O'Brien, Director of Technology for the Waterloo Community Schools. We're excited to let you know that the Waterloo Schools will now be contacting you via text message in addition to recorded phone calls and emails. We think that in certain situations, a text message would get you informed faster with the information you may need to know about school closings and weather delays. You will have the option to opt out if you don't want to receive text alerts from the district. Look for a welcome message soon that will be texted to your phone. If you don't receive one, you will need to make sure that your current cell phone number is on file in our Infinite Campus system. Infinite Campus is a great way for you to keep your information up to date with the district, as well as staying informed of your child's progress in school, including grades and homework assignments. Letters were recently sent home to parents without accounts with information on how to sign up. Or if you didn't receive a letter, please feel free to contact your child's school for an activation key. Please call us at 433-1826 if you have any questions about our new text messaging service. Hi, I'm Rachel Flynn. And I'm Teja Tucker. National Signing Day means three West football standouts are committed to playing at the college level. Here are highlights from KWWL's Rick Coleman. And a very special day at Waterloo West High School as three close friends signed to play college football. Lance Dunn Jr. signs to play for North Dakota State and Waterloo native head coach Chris Kleiman. Blake Thomas signing to play linebacker for Coach Farley at UNI while the versatile Alex Young will play either running back or safety for Juco Power Iowa Western. They were recruiting me as a cornerback. Then uh, Kleiman got the head coach job, and I talked to him, and I told him that I really like, I really wanted to play running back. So you know, he said he'll give me the opportunity. Uh, I really thought that you and I was a place for me because the atmosphere that they show now, like they really take care of their linebackers and how they work their defense. Never thought that I'd be in this position right now, and to share it with some of my brothers that we had blood, blood, sweat, and tears with uh, is a great feeling. And it's a feeling I never had before. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. They made it. They're going to play college football. Yeah, that's a great scene, though. That's, yeah. that's a good That's a good memory there. Okay, thanks, Rick. Hi, I'm Rachel Flynn. And I'm Grace McEntee. Speech teams from across the state are showing off their skills in competitions. Recently, West High hosted one of these weekend events. Joining us is a familiar face, West student news anchor and speech team participant, Ja'Kayla Madison. Hi, Ja'Kayla. Hi. How are you? I'm good. It's a little different being on this side of the desk now. So what events are you involved in? I am a part of choral reading and musical theater for a large group. How long have you been doing those? I have been doing choral reading for three years since my sophomore year, and then I've been doing large group for four years, so since my freshman year. What prompted you to join large group? Uh, I was kind of persuaded, let's put it that way, by some friends of mine to do it. I never wanted to be in front of the people. I wanted to be behind the curtain. And uh, Mr. Penning actually stopped me in the hallway one day, and he kind of gave me this death glare. <laughs> and he's like, I heard you can sing. And I said, eh, not really. And he made me sing the national anthem for him in the hallway, just in front of everybody as people were walking by. And uh, he just kind of gave me this look of, hmm, mm, OK, OK, I see. And that was my audition kind of for large group. And I ended up in musical theater, so. That sounds just like Mr. Penny. <laughs> yeah, that is Mr. Penny. <laughs> so what is your musical theater that made it to Allstate? Uh, my musical theater is called Bonnie and Clyde, and it follows the life of the two robbers, Bonnie and Clyde. So at what point in your large group season are you at? We have just finished with state competition, and uh, Monday night we received our all-state nominations, where eight groups got nominated, five performing, three non-performing. So now we're kind of in the preparing for all-state and all-states next Saturday in Ames, Iowa, at Iowa State University. Is the whole speech department just like a big family? Do you guys hang out? It, it is, it's a big family, and mainly because we love and hate each other. And uh, I tell this to everyone who joins. I, I say this to them. I say, at one point, you're going to hate everyone. Because it just, we're around each other so much yeah. because we're practicing so mm -hmm. much and we want to get things done that we, we start to annoy each other and everyone's like, oh my gosh, I don't like you right now. And, <laughs> and it's like the feeling's mutual, but once we go to a competition, we realize you know, why we're actually here. And, it, and I think, in a way, the arguing just makes us stronger. So. 
Thanks for the interview, Chikaylin. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We're a talented kid. Thanks for watching the Student News Broadcast, West High Edition. Signing off, I'm Rachel Flynn. And I'm Grace McEntee. Have a good day.